I have to confess, I've never uh, given a talk about listening before, sort of an oxymoron to talk about listening. Uh, that, that did not dissuade me because I met 50% of the criteria to talk about the subject. Um, there, there are uh, sort of uh, three reasons why I decided to talk about uh, listening today. Uh, the first is its underused uh, ability, it, I find, uh, not just in business, but uh, in society. Um, the second piece is that I thought a wide group of people could hopefully get something out of the conversation. It also happens to be a subject that I could pretty much divulge all that I know about it in five minutes. <laughs> and the third thing is for future uh, family and uh, benefits is that I'll now be able to tell my wife forever that, listen, I've given a talk about listening to a, <laughs> one of the leading universities in the world. And uh, Kelly, thank you for the, uh, the title, The Power of Listening. I'm from the Northeast. My original title was Yo, Listen Up. Uh, but I have to admit, The Power of Listening is a little classier. Um, just a few tips on listening. Uh, for those of you taking notes uh, today, the first thing I tell you is that taking notes is not a substitute for listening. In fact, sometimes it can work against it, which I'll, get, I'll, I'll talk about in a second. Uh, two examples of note taking that I, I thought were interesting. One is I actually had a boss of mine who used to take some notes when uh, people were talking. And I thought this was an effective uh, use of note taking. What he was actually doing was marking how much time people were spending on certain subjects. Because what, what people talk about tends to be what's important to them. Uh, the second thing is I had an undergraduate professor at uh, Brown University, who actually ended up teaching at, uh, at Berkeley as well. And he said, this is really important, so don't write it down. And it was amazing. He did only talk about that a couple of, you know, every third class or so, and you never forgot that stuff. So those taking notes, I'd ask you to wait on note taking until the end of the session. I'll have a little summary. And uh, by the way, I won't say anything that uh, is worth note taking anyway. Um, <laughs> the the uh, second tip I'd say on, on listening is that as much as we like to hear ourselves talk, it's self rewarding, right? You can't be listening when you're talking, right? So you really have to seek. People to seek people out and get them to give you input. And in terms of who you ask to talk, as many people as you can, especially the people who are closest to the subject. I got pretty senior in my company, and sometimes that would be somebody who's quite a bit more junior than I was, but that would be the person who would know the most about uh, the subject. Uh, the other thing is to talk to people and, and try to get people to talk who don't normally speak out. Um, there's a, a saying that I think is attributed to the Navajo Indians is even the still wind has a voice. And I think it's really important to try to get everybody to talk about it. I think in today's society, sometimes people think that intelligence is correlated with how much people talk. I've not found that to be the case. Um, a third tip uh, that I'd give about listening is to listen with both ears and both eyes. And this is where the note taking comes. When you're listening, if you're really in listening mode, it's amazing how much more you'll retain. And you may pick up some nuances along the way. One of the uh, drawbacks that I have personally, I said, so what are some of the drawbacks of listening? Sometimes you're thinking about something else. Right? So you're not listening to the, the person with your full attention. My problem sometimes is I'm thinking about what I'm going to say. Right? So I, you're not really in full listening mode uh, when you're doing that. And the other thing by listening with, with both eyes is people want to know that you're listening to them. And I remember early in our marriage, my wife was talking about, by the way, a fellow Haas grad, so that's good. Uh, wasn't called Haas back then. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, she was talking about what she was doing that day, and I was reading the newspaper, continued reading the newspaper uh, the whole time. She said, did you hear what I just said? Fortunately, I couldn't do this today. I was able to spit back almost literally every word that she said, uh, but she, she didn't think I was listening. So I did not uh, have, have her attention, and uh, she didn't have my attention. So, and, and by the way, you, you could get by with that in some subjects. Some subjects, uh, you can't. So the, the last um, thing I'd sort of say about listening, this is for the advanced class, OK? is listen to what people don't say. Go back to the note taking my boss had. It's amazing how that's helped me in certain negotiations. It helps in terms of priorities. Uh, earlier, we, we, had, we were selling a business. We were, and we had somebody who was interested in buying the entire business. We had other people who were buying 
looking at pieces of the business. And the people who wanted to buy the whole business came in and talked to us, and they said everything we wanted to hear. And you know, everybody was sort of saying, oh, well, these guys are going to buy the business. And, and that's, it was much easier to do it in one fell swoop. And I was actually pretty convinced that they weren't, because they weren't asking the type of questions that I would have expected them to ask if they were really ready to close. They were selling us on, on all the reasons why they were the right player, but they really weren't asking those questions. So if you could uh, do those uh, four things well, I hopefully increase your listening. So just to summarize, you know, yo, <laughs> couldn't resist the yo, listen up. Uh, take notes not equal to active listening. Encourage others to provide input. Listen with both ears and both eyes. And listen to what people don't say. Now, one bad thing about aging is that uh, one of the things I discovered, I now forget half of what I've uh, heard, so I have to listen twice as much. So uh, thank you very much.